गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट मैक्सिमम गिलबर्ट सीक्वेंसिंग एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो मैक्सिमम गिलबर्ट सीक्वेंसिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ डीएनए सीक्वेंसिंग व्हिच वाज डेवलप्ड बाय मैक्सिमम एंड गिलबर्ट इन 1977 Here first we need to denature the double stranded DNA into single stranded DNA Next the 5 prime phosphate of this single stranded DNA would be cleaved by applying alkaline phosphatases Then radio leveled phosphate P32 is added in 5 prime end by using t4 polynucleotide kinase then this modified single stranded dna is divided into four tubes each tube contains certain reagents which cleave single stranded dna at specific sites for example in tube 1 we have dimethyl sulfate or tms and hot piperidine these chemicals cleave dna sequence at guanine hence following fragments are generated in tube 1 in tube 2 we have hydrazine nacl and hot piperidine these chemicals cleave dna sequence at cytosine hence following fragments are generated in tube 2 in tube 3 we have hydrazine and hot piperidine these chemicals cleave dna sequence at cytosine as well as thymine hence following fragments are generated in tube 3 in tube 4 we have formic acid and hot piperidine these chemicals cleave dna sequence at adenine as well as guanine hence following fragments are generated in tube 4 now These products are used for polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Each layer of the gel contains content of each tube, tube 1, tube 2, tube 3 and tube 4. DNA fragments are separated in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis or page based on their size. All cut DNA fragments will be separated in gel but only fragments with 5 dash radio level ends will be detected using auto radiography Now let's determine the DNA sequence This line contains two bands one in C and the other in C plus D Hence the nucleotide must be C Next line represents single band in C plus T Hence the nucleotide is T since no band is present in tube 2 Next line represents single band in A plus G Hence the nucleotide is A since no band is present in tube 1 g next line represents two bands one in c and other in c plus d hence the nucleotide must be c next line contains two bands one in g and other in a plus g hence the nucleotide must be g next line 
represents single band in C plus D. Hence, the nucleotide is T since no band is present in tube 2 C. Next line represents single band in A plus G. Hence, the nucleotide is A since no band is present in tube 1 G. Therefore, the DNA sequence would be 5 dash C T A C G T A 3 dash.